Canadian slang. Click. A word for kilometers or kilometers per hour. Some spell the word as click. Chesterfield. A sofa or couch. Chocolate bar. All bars that have any amount of chocolate in them. Double Double. A regular coffee with two creams and two sugars. It is a kind of coffee from Tim Horton. A. A classic Canadian term used in everyday conversation. The word can be used to end a question, say hello to someone at a distance, to show surprise as in you are joking, or to get a person to respond. Hang a Larry. Means make a left turn while driving. Hang a Roger. Means make a right turn while driving. Icing sugar. A fine granulated sugar used while baking to make icings. The alternative word for this is powdered sugar. Kerfuffle. This word refers to a commotion or fuss caused by disagreement most commonly found during or after sports games. Loonies and tunnies. A loony is a Canadian $1 coin with an image of the Canadian bird, the loon, on one side of the coin. The loony replaced the Canadian $1 bill in 1987. The Canadian $2 coin was introduced in 1996, and the words two and loony became a single term, toonie. Mickey. A word referring to a flask-sized bottle of liquor such as rum or Canadian rye whiskey. Parkade. A word that refers to a multi-level parking structure. Americans call it the parking structure, parking garage, or parking deck. Pencil crayon. Known as colored pencil in the U.S. Pop. A soda. Puddin. Puddin is a popular dish made with French fries and cheese curds topped with brown gravy. Runners. Casual sport shoes such as sneakers or tennis shoes. Skookum. Means exceptional or impressive. Snowbirds. Canadians who head south during the winter months to escape the cold. Timmy's. Timmy's refers to the popular Tim Hortons fast food coffee chain. Toke. Pronounced as toke or toque, a toque is a winter hat that others would commonly refer to as beanies or ski hats. 4. Commonly used to refer to a case of 24 beers. Washroom. The Canadian word for restroom. Thank you for watching.